This is Random Urban Memories, brought to you by the Rum Boys. You've seen, heard, or felt it on the streets. Well, we're here to talk about it. In three, two, one. Hello and welcome everybody back to Random Urban Memories with my pal d and myself. Hi guys. Tea fresh. Tea fresh. So, folks, today... Um, we have a couple of things to, to go over, uh, one of which is uh, I got a text from David asking me, um, or asking that we should possibly cover conspiracy theories, Ooh. and that, that, is an interesting, that is an interesting theme. So it turns out that uh, I, I was one of those uh, crazy for conspiracy theories and that kind of stuff, and I was like, what? 9-11 was an inside job, that kind of thing, you know? When I say into it, I was, I was interested and I was reading up a lot about it and all that kind of stuff. Um, what are your thoughts on it? Well, I'm not now, by the way. Now I'm all into fact checking and actually fucking reading what it is that you yeah. that you see in here. Are you still like you you still think that it's an internal thing? No, it, that it wasn't an insider job. No, I still can't. Think. I mean, like, well, you see, I, without a shadow of, of a doubt. The truth, I think, sometimes is stranger than the fiction. And this is what I always say in, in conspiracy theories, because the CIA has released documents of um, a lot of operations that they had overseas, and a lot of them are weirder and more fantastical than a James Bond film, actually. Mm. You know, like the the the, opera, or the revolution in Nicaragua and the Shah and Iran correction, uh, connection and that kind of stuff. Like, they literally trained small groups of people uh, in auxiliary warfare and it's just like they started a revolution that theoretically wasn't there you know what i mean and that's yeah. that's that's crazier like yeah. just a small band of agents brought central america to its knees and they installed the dictators that were friendly to the u.s and all of that is not conspiracy theory it's written in the operational papers that's of the cia yeah. it's it's there it's yeah. and that's more fucked up than a lot of the things yeah. you hear now um i mean like they built like they were training al-qaeda or taliban Taliban. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Like they, they supplied like them with weapons. Yeah, yeah. They're the ones. Yeah, they're the they, training they, people. They trained them, and then it turned out to be bad move. Something completely different. Yeah, yeah so. exactly, yeah. exactly. So that's why, yeah, the the the, the truth is weirder sometimes. Mm. Strange from what people believe. But I don't know. Like, but when I live in the like when I when I look at the footage, and uh, you know, like the one the the building number seven mm -hmm. that wasn't hit by anything. Just suddenly, just fell. Mm. That seems strange <clears throat> to me. Yeah. They're apparently bringing out a new report on that. Mm. Uh, Engineers for Truth are going to release a statement or something like that mm. in, the, in the next coming days or weeks or something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they're going to analyze what had happened in, in there because, like, yeah, they said it was just caught fire and then it collapsed from the fire or whatever, but mm. that's the only high rise in the history of high rises to ever collapse because of a fire. The, the, the strange thing was that. I think BBC was reported was reporting mm. about the, the the building falling down before it actually fell down. They were talking about it, and the building was and then literally just, just falling behind yeah. her, like behind the reporter. I was like, "How? How? Like why? Why would? How would you know the information before it actually happens? You know?" So it's like. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah, you don't have to try time travelers. You know, <laughs> <laughs> and then there's fucking shit up, you know? Yeah. But you might have tried travelers, though. Hmm? You might have tried time travelers already. Would you know they're time travelers, though? Well... Could you comprehend? They're, they're, they're showing Jay-Z already. <laughs> like... <laughs> 1840 <laughs> pictures. I like. I saw. I saw the picture. I'm like, well, that's Jay. -Z. That's that is Jay-Z. I mean, let's that's, let's that's hope. Yeah. <laughs> let's hope. <laughs> so. But yeah, man, there's some there's some crazy stuff out there. But now what they're shouting now with the whole uh, uh, what I what I don't agree with as well is this strange anti-vax movement, chemtrail movement, uh, anti-GMO movement, so, that kind of stuff. Hang on, you, you gave me too many abbreviations. Oh, was like, <laughs> anti-vax movement that women shouldn't vax or no? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> they're like women. The Stop waxing your, your It is demeaning. Your it is it is not right. <laughs> no, uh, anti-vaccination. Show some hair. <laughs> Be natural. 
Um, no, it's anti-vaccinations. Oh, vaccinations. Yeah, yeah, all those people, yeah. you know, because uh, uh, apparently they're trying to dumb down and make sick our kids and all that kind of stuff with the vaccinations. But what we have now is an incredible rise in, in measles again, polio. That shit's supposed to be wiped out. It's supposed to be done and dusted. But uh, now there's more and more kids infected and dying from these really old, easily, uh, yeah, easily, um, what do you call it? Easily cured. I oh, know easily cured. Sorry, easily prevented uh, diseases. So yeah, that's I see. That's pretty crazy. You got this going on now. I'm not a huge fan of vaccinations. But I mean, you because I was reading up about it, yeah. and it's like what they say, like you know, oh yeah, but they've, you've got some, you've got specific chemicals in there or whatever that have um, uh, that are that are absolutely they're either cancerous or yep. that autism study, for example, was mm-hmm, absolutely mm-hmm. even the guy that wrote the autism study himself said he falsified evidence, mm-hmm. and like for example, you have in a pair, I think you have a more trace amount of. Um, specific poison than you would have in in a vaccine um what was that poison actually arsenic i think it is yeah, it's, it's, it's arsenic you have more arsenic in a pair than you do in 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 a normal vaccination or in a normal uh, yeah, yeah, vaccination yeah. vial yeah. so that kind of thing or like uh the gmo movement or whatever like a lot of people say um they're all against you know genetically modified crops and that kind of stuff but yeah. What you do when you breed for the best um, outcome, yeah, that is genetic modification. Yeah, your those little dogs, those little pouch dogs and stuff like that, they are genetically right. modified. Are you the dissing bigger, my dog? Are you no, dissing no, my no, dog? I'm not dissing. You know that I have a Yorkie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the biggest. Yeah, you got a, like, you got that's a, the biggest bear is in Barna. You got a, I was gonna say, yeah, you got a, you got a cute little one now. <laughs> Poo Super. That's what they call them. <laughs> but like even Great Danes, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's the size of a fucking horse. You know what I mean. Mm. You can ride it to work. Mm. Uh, that's a genetic modification. So if you if you um, yeah if you breed for best food, most pest resistant, and the most uh, output and all that kind of stuff, that's all gem- uh, genetically modified mm. food, I guess. You but know? then doesn't it like bring the bring the risk of like more issues? Like you have mm. like you are breeding, breeding, breeding. But then you know, let's say if you take bulldogs, mm. bulldogs have like they are. They are born to like have to to live in pain. They have problems mm. with eyes. They always have like you yes. know like I know I know bulldog owners that had to go through like multiple surgeries with their dogs, and mm. then in the end they died because of something else. I mean you know, and this is this is a this is an issue with yeah. other dogs and other breeds. It's just you know mm. it, it's so strange. And I was actually I was talking to my dad about it yesterday. Uh, there is a it's a it's a new kind of like a gadget that clears your water, but it doesn't filter it only. It kind of like cl- clears it completely to like essence of water, apparently, right? Yeah. But that it sounds like you are drinking like a dead water, you know that you don't have. It doesn't seem that there, there are any minerals, anything, anything bad, nothing. It's just like it sounds like a distilled water, right? But yeah. it's not distilling as a like I think yeah. distilling is like cooking. Cooking yeah, it and yeah. getting rid of minerals, but this is kind of like clearing the whole thing, right? So, I get why would you why would you sell it to oh. or why would you distribute it in countries where there is not clear not clean water? Oh. And this is actually like the invention just to just said it's coming from Czech Republic. In Czech Republic in Slovakia, we have like really like oh. probably like the best water around um, in the in the area of European Union. And now we are we are selling this tool to clean it even even more. I'm like, and then we are wondering like why do we have all of these kids with with like yeah. asthma and um, allergies and all of this all mm. of this stuff when we are literally like not trying to protect them because like yeah you are pro- you are like your immune system is getting mm. stronger the more you kind of like test it yeah right? yeah so like I don't mind to have a you know let's say a flu. One once or twice a week, once a week. A week. I was going to like, say, yeah, yeah. I think that's sign of a it's bigger like, illness. Right? Yeah, Tuesday, Thursday, I usually have my flu days. But <laughs> my but, flu days. Uh, but it's it seems that we are kind of like trying to trying to take stuff that we have not like the older generation was not kind of like like dealing with it, 
Mm. So they got healthier or they got stronger, like they have stronger immune systems. And now we are just just messing up with all of the like all of these kids. And you know, I agree. You know, I I don't think it's a it's the best policy. I I understand like why would you why would you sell it to a country where there is a like dirty water? Mm. Therefore, but you know, I don't get well, it. Anything so else? Why, why would you do it? You know, like and like you watch the video and there is. <laughs> This lady who tries to be fit and she, she's like wearing like all of these like gym yeah. clothes and all of this stuff and I'm like she's like you you look sick you don't actually look fit <laughs> you like, don't, don't try to all. sell it to me like come on <laughs> you know it's just strange you know now nah, but I agree though like what they've done is like they um like even doctors uh, say like you know like this whole disinfecting your whole house from top to bottom or mm-hmm. whatever it's it's actually unhealthy it has negative health consequences. <laughs> overprotecting and over cleaning and over disinfecting everything or whatever like yep. the poor children these days they need i mean just think about us running around in the garden and whatnot you know what i mean it's yep. like, i don't want to know where my hands would have landed you know and then you're walking around picking your nose eating it or whatever that kind of shit yep. like kids it's it's good for them to have a bit of dirt in their life you know what i mean it helps you fight yep. bacteria and it helps you it builds your immune system like you said it's good to be sick every once in a while but if you walk around in a sanitized yeah. hospital house, then what? And then Just, somebody sneezes at you, and then you exactly. you, you pass out <laughs> for three weeks. Coma. From, yeah, 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 co- yeah, yeah, exactly. Sneeze, sneeze from, coma. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. What's that? Oh, he has a cold. <laughs> but no, this is. I think <clears throat> the comedian like was it Steve Carlin, the the older guy, I think. George Carlin. George Carlin. Yeah, yeah. Like he was talking about like how they were how they were like uh, swimming in like uh, a lake. Which was like raw sewage. Or something. I was like, this reminds me of my childhood. Yeah. No, no, but it was um. So we had a lake like close to close to our town, and uh, like a lot of like masses of people were going there. Mm. It was a huge lake. Yeah. But at the end of the lake, there was a village, and like all of their all of their sewage and all of that <laughs> stuff was apparently like I figured out after like years yeah. that all of their sewage was actually Pumped going in. to to the lake. Like I mean, it, it wasn't like. That you would you would be swimming and then suddenly you had like floaters and stuff like that, <laughs> but it was it was just like kind of like accepted by everybody that it was uh, what it was. <laughs> it was really everybody was healthy. <clears throat> there was no Everyone allergies lived. at that point. There yeah, was yeah. like you know yeah. I got allergy to dust, but I don't think that it's from that. <laughs> <laughs> That's not from swimming and shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it made you resistant to shit. <laughs> Yeah, just, I don't give a shit. Just now. The, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're ever at a sewage treatment plant and you see somebody fall in, you're like, it's okay. Like, it's okay. I'm I, gonna I take him out. <laughs> don't worry about it. Wear your protective suit. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. I'll, I, I have my speedos on. <laughs> oh, very good. Speedos. So, so as you all know, um, it was. <laughs> Well, unless you have something else to add about conspiracy theories, which we kind of floated into <laughs> health issues here at the moment. I don't know how that went on. Um, but, um, yeah, your thoughts on Black Friday? Yeah, so we were talking about it before. <clears throat> and, um, because I wanted to buy some stuff and yeah. we, we, we kind of get into the discounts or like Black Friday. And we were like, why is actually Black Friday here? And then... Yeah. And I was like, but why is Black Friday in, in Czech or Slovakia? Like, we don't have freaking th- Thanksgiving. And it seems like everybody is going through, like, all of this stuff and uh, trying to trying to push us. I mean, like, the discounts are great, but, but don't make it. Don't call it Black Friday. Yeah. Like, I don't even know what, the, what what Black Friday is. I never I never celebrated Thanksgiving. So why are you trying to push Thanksgiving? Thanksgiving? To us. Well, it won't be long until we actually have Thanksgiving here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, I yeah. mean... Like, that will be... Like, I, I can see it in, like, five, ten years. Like, Black Friday is only since the last last couple of years or whatever. It's kind of like, why don't they just call it what it is? The commercial holiday we copied from America that does not exist here at all. Yeah. You know what I mean? And again, exactly. I'm not complaining. There is some nice discounts out there. Yeah. But what I noticed when I was flicking through Amazon or anywhere else... All the items that they had reduced kind of come along every once in a while, like electric toothbrushes or whatever. Yeah. The best deals are actually on TVs. That mm. is, that's when you get some really, really nice deals. Yeah. But how many TVs do you need in your life? That's the other question. Yeah, but you're not buying TV like every year. Every, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, but I saw some of the videos. Uh, I saw a compilation videos of people 
beating each other in shops. It was glorious. It's, it's the crazy. dumbest thing I've ever seen. There's people taking boxes from children. It's and then yeah, you see the people stampeding across each other, stomping each other's heads and everything, grabbing posters that are reduced from one ninety nine to ninety nine cents or something yeah, like that. Yeah. They're just grabbing whatever is in the store and yeah. they're fighting each other and there's riot police everywhere. And they're all just climbing over TVs and everything. And yeah. they're going, man, that is that is how they want the masses to be. Back on yeah. back to the conspiracy theories and yeah, facts. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ah. That is keep the masses stupid, keep the masses spending. Yeah, the dumber they are, the better. Yeah, I couldn't wait to go out and get for myself some of those deals. I had to kick a kid in the head, but uh, yeah. I, got <laughs> I got my watch. But no, it's um, you know, when you when you see the videos from America and. Mm. Like they usually show like somebody fighting over 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 a TV. Mm. It's like a Hitachi or something something like that. I'm like, why don't you fight for a Sony? <laughs> you know, or something. Like that. It's usually like like really really bad like <laughs> really? Shitty, shitty you know <laughs> brands and all of this stuff that you never heard of. Yeah. And you're like, yeah, that it is actually cheaper. You don't ha- you don't need a discount for that. Yeah, you know. Exactly. Like, I'm like, why are you fighting for this? Yeah. And then they show Canada Oops. and Black Friday in Canada, and people just walk into. Did you see that? The, yeah, yeah. Waving, waving, saying thank like, you. Pe- people are clapping in. Yeah, yeah. People are like, "Yeah, welcome to our store." And I'm like, "It's no it's, nice and orderly, but so it's so strange, so strange." I don't know. The town was crazy here in Galway. It was, it was pretty. It was oh, pretty you were busy on Friday. I was in town on Friday. Yeah, uh, went uh, went for drinks with a couple of friends and. Uh, yeah, it was pretty crazy. Like, outside Curry's just blocked. Absolutely blocked. Oh, yeah. Curry's is an electrical store here in town. So, uh, yeah. Not the Curry store. Not the Curry store. They don't, they don't sell any Curry. <laughs> Chickpeas Curry. Curry Masala. Um, yeah, no, but the Christmas market seems to be kind of, like, full. And I, I think, like, they were there. With Did you see it? Did you go to it? I just saw it around. Like, I I don't go to it. It's not that many stands oh. since last year. It's really sad, actually. But they, they must have like lost a lot of money last year. I don't know. I think they increased the rents as well. It was like bad, bad weather. Do you remember? Oh, shitty, like yeah. last year was, was just pacey, man. Rain, yeah. rain, 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 rain. Mm. But this year is they split it. You know, they've got the northern part of their square done now with the mm-hmm. with the stalls, and then the road, and then uh, where the taxi stand was, where the taxi rank. That's all used up now for stalls. I mean, not that it was the world's greatest Christmas market anyway, yep. but at least it had that kind of mini Christmas market village feel when yeah, it was yeah. spread across Air Square. But now it's just, it's a bunch of stalls on the side of, yeah. the, side of the park. So yeah, it's not really why that. They, they made a decision. To I don't know. It's and I like the, and I also like the tent at, uh, in Spanish Arch last year. Apart from being really, really cold, it was actually really nice. Was it cold? Yeah, because they yeah. couldn't heat it properly. They had one little pipe blowing constant warm air. And even 300 people breathing in there didn't keep it warm. It was ass cold until you got drunk, then it was fine. <laughs> but it was a nice tent, though. It was a yeah, nice I really little like the, ski hut yeah. or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was good. But, like, the weather is just... Ah, it, was, it was horrible. Even though it's much better this year. Weather-wise? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look outside. It's, be- it's a beautiful... I'm going skiing right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's, a beautiful, it's a beautiful day out there. I'm going skiing yeah. right after this. So and that kind of brings us to another thing we wanted to talk about, and this is this is a shout out to all of our friends and coworkers and whatnot. When we organize shit, <laughs> just say no if you ain't coming. <laughs> we were talking about this now, and it's difficult. Yeah, it's very well, difficult. It's, um, I think I think people don't want to. Um, want to say they don't want to say no because they they are like oh yeah they're not going to call me anymore or something it's just, yeah. so I'll, I'll say yeah, maybe or one hour oh, i'm on my way yeah. something like they, they never show up they never show up it's like you, like you will not hurt my feelings if you won't show up <laughs> like i do the same stuff yeah i say no a, a lot of times i have to admit a lot of times i say maybe mm. <laughs> never show up <laughs> <laughs> you know like sometimes you like when you when you speak about organizing something, mm. you are usually like, oh, I am definitely going. But that's like a week before that. Yeah. Then the day comes, you, and then you are chilling at home. You know, Netflix yeah. is on. 
You're like, that's I'm not right. going anywhere. I like this that stuff. Is, I'm not going to eat. I'm that not is, going to take a shower. See, you can't get comfortable. That is the problem. It's, yeah. It's just, yeah you're on one minute, you're like, yeah, party, definitely, yeah. for sure. I'll be there. I'm already there. I was there. Yeah. But then you're sitting around in your underpants, and then you're going to go, mm, no. Nah, yeah. Nah, yeah. It's, and maybe it's maybe it's also like getting older or something. Like we, When I was younger, I was like, uh, I'm going. Three hours beforehand, already yeah. kicked off the party. You kicked off go. the party at home. You were drinking. Yeah, yeah. You're, at, you're at home drinking a beer, getting ready to go to the party. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Alone. On your own. Yeah, yeah. But do you know what I think it is as well, though? It's the... Um, that's how you know you're getting older. You know you've got something to go to, yeah. but already you're thinking of the negatives about it. <laughs> yeah. I got to get ready. I have to eat first. My back hurts. <laughs> It's going to take ages. I have to get a taxi. Yeah. Or I'm going to be waiting for a bus. Yeah. You're already counting up the negatives. Yeah. yeah. And then you make it such a big deal. Yeah. yeah. But then the funny thing is you finally get there and you're kind of like, oh, this is fucking good fun. Why was I bitching about it? You know, and then you always have a great time anyway. Hmm. Like, like once you get there, it's fine. Yeah. yeah. But it's the getting there. It's getting so, there. I'm up, so much work. Like, oh man, there'll be people there and I have to talk to people and get there and everything. Yeah. yeah. Before anything happens, someone just asked you, would you yeah. like to come for a drink? And you're there going, oh. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. You know. <laughs> you know, like when people are organizing events on, on like Facebook and stuff like that, yeah. so you're just like, maybe. <laughs> you just got used to it, you know? <laughs> but no, you like, you think about all of the negatives, but you also think about the negatives for the following day. You're like, oh, I have so much stuff to do. Yes. So yes. The, like, if I go out, I have to go out on Friday. Because if I go out on Saturday, I already have messed up Saturday because I'm thinking about going out. And yeah. then I have to cope, cope, cope with the hangover yep. on Sunday. So it's just like my whole weekend is gone. It's just like I haven't done anything. There's a reason why we're recording on a Sunday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I went out on Friday. <laughs> and I was not well on day yesterday. But it's amazing when you think about like how, how fit you were when, we, when you were younger. It really is. You could... Drink until six in the morning, go to work at eight, somehow manage to get through the day somehow without literally dying. Yep. Uh, and then you meet up for beers afterwards because you make you feel better. No problem. To balance out. Yeah. Yeah. And now? No. Nah. The thought is making me feel tired now. Yeah. Or even, like I used to, I had like weekends where you were tr- drinking like Friday and Saturday. Straight up. So. Easy. Like, you, not that you will be drinking on Saturday, like during during the day, but in the evening, and you kind of like get, get into like, hey, let's have a couple of glasses of wine, mm. and then you end up with like five shows of Metaxa or something, like <laughs> and then you're just yeah, and then Kablam. you're already in the you're already sitting in the car to the to the club or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> yeah, right. we're going. Yeah, but like one one night I had, I just went to a pizzeria. My friend, my friend was working there. Yeah. Um, he was the, like the, the delivery man, the manager of the pizzeria had, a I think it was his birthday or his brother's birthday, whatever. A couple of guys just showed up. I had like my gray sweatpants. Like it was actually like a jogging suit. Yeah. I had like a vest on. Like I wasn't going out at all. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Hey, you know, let's have, let's have a couple of shots of Metaxa and like, let's yeah. just have a couple of drinks. Boom, 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 boom. Then I had pizza, then we had more, a couple of drinks. Then they brought Jim Beam, Jake uh, Daniels. Yeah. And then from there, it was end of my night for my brain. <laughs> but the night continued. So like yeah. they brought me to a club. Apparently, I was in the club like dancing with like all the ladies. Yeah, yeah. Like I wasn't I wasn't dressed for clubbing. Like it looked like I'm going to walk, you were walk dressed, for my dog or something. You were dressed for dog. pizza, man. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It was just like a chilling <laughs> Saturday, you know? Yeah. And um, they brought me, then we went to a club, um, and there was like a hen, I was not like a hen tidy, but it was like all the ladies around 35, not all the ladies, but 35, 40 years old, mm. going out without their husbands, and like they were, what? it was like five or six of them on the dance floor. I was, I was like, frankly like dancing with them. <laughs> then the bouncer who knew me came to my friend. He's like, take him home. He's home. Like, 
they brought me glasses. I, oh, I had no, a shot man. on the dance floor. It fell off. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> it yeah. fell off. It was like broke. Yeah. Bouncer came over to me and uh, to my friend, and he's like, "Take him home. Like he cannot stay here. Yeah, like yeah. otherwise, I'll have to throw him out. And yeah, I don't yeah. want to do it." Da 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 da. Um, <laughs> I woke up at home. Yeah. <laughs> my bed still on. Everything on. <laughs> In my bed, I'm like phone like i had seven missed calls from my friend he was yeah. oh, he was going to germany yeah. he was driving to germany at that time uh, like he wasn't yeah. drinking that much but he brought me to germany he he, he went to germany <laughs> I, was like, I was like what happened he's like you had the best night of your life but you don't remember <laughs> it. You? you don't remember <laughs> it. Like, yeah. like, Come on. i don't even remember seeing the club or anything like that it's just pizzeria boom that's it Brain was gone. Brain was gone. Like that's I, ridiculous. I you just went to get. Pizza. I don't black out. Yeah, I don't, yeah. Like this was the probably like one or second time that I I really literally don't yeah. remember. But all I all I remember was pizzeria and then gone. Yeah, yeah. That's fucked up. <laughs> David's bad bad twin got on. Best night ever. <laughs> apparently, yeah, apparently, <laughs> it's like Hangover <laughs> Three. You know, I don't know. It's just strange. That's yeah. crazy, man. Did you ever have something with it? With gin. <laughs> I, have, I have it with gin. No, do you know what? Actually, my uh, what made me ill of a drink, you know the way everyone has that story, they, they drank too much of one thing and then forever they can't yeah. drink it. Yeah. Uh, mine was Uzo. Oh. Uh, we were up in a friend's garage. This is in, uh, uh, shout out to all the all the guys in Gory, okay. County Wexford. Garage drinkers. Yeah, yeah. Warm it. Ga- garage boys. Bam. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so a, f- a friend of ours came back from Greece with a three or four liter bottle of Ouzo with a little tap at the end. And we were playing a, a drinking game, you know, where you have to throw dice yeah. and you have to do shit, whatever. Okay. Basically, anything, anytime you move on the board, it's somebody has to drink something all the time. So yeah. it's like, I don't know, kiss your male best friend beside you and take a shot. Or if you don't do it, take five shots, you know, that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Or, oh man, it was just absolutely like, it was just drink shots. And even if you win, you drink shots. And even if everyone else loses, everyone just drinks shots drink all shots. the time. It's yeah. just, so anyway, so we were, and we were filling the cups up pretty yeah. pretty high. Um, as far as I remember, oh yeah, so all of our friend circle was in the garage. Mm-hmm. Literally every one of us was in the garage. And we got completely drunk. But I decided to get up at this stage now. And I turned around and I was like, right guys, I'm going to go meet my friends. They're like, we're literally here. I was like, no, I'm going to go meet my friends. <laughs> Get out of friends. So I stumbled my way up to our local that we always used to drink in. And I, I just vaguely remember absolutely zigzagging. I mean, oops, yeah. absolutely. Uh, and I vaguely remember seeing my stepdad across the road. And he was like, what the fuck? Um, so I went into the pub. And I don't remember much from there, but the girlfriend at the time of one of my friends, she was working in the pub. Yeah. And she goes, Turk, what are you doing here? And I was like, I'm here to see everybody. And she's like, "There, you were with them. Go home. And I was like, uh. And then I fell over a table. And so, but there was people sitting at that table. After that, I don't remember much more. I came back. I puked all over his front garden. And then slept under his Jeep. It was December and it was like minus two degrees. How I didn't get hypothermia, I do not know. Uh, and I had to clean up the next morning. His dad came out and he goes, what is this shit? And then I had to go clean it up and everything. And that's all I remember from it. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Uzo. So Uzo. No, thank you. Yeah. What's your drink? Um, I got two. I got raspberry uh, spirit. Yeah. That was my fir- that was the, the first time that I got drunk in yeah, my life. Yeah, yeah. Never ever again. Um, not that you just taste something with raspberry and you're like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like the first time that I got drunk. I was, I was like sixteen. I got drunk with my friends again. Like it was a game. It was a game of cards. Everybody was cheating. Everybody was cheating. They just wanted to me and my friend um, to get to get really really drunk. Mm. Um, and I didn't mind at that time for some reason. I was like, <laughs> it, it was I, I was I was sixteen and I wanted to get drunk finally. Mm-hmm. You know, like you were, like lose your virginity, you anything, no lose problem. your virginity yeah. with, with drinks. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I just wanted to get really like drunk, mm. drunk. 
Um, at some stage, I didn't even like use any soft drinks to kind of like get rid of the aftertaste. I was just drinking Straight shots, up. shots. Ugh. But then you know, I couldn't, I couldn't smell or taste anything with raspberry for like three, three months. Afterwards. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was like the toughest summer for me. <laughs> ah, so yeah, because this happened at the, at the beginning of summer, but it was oh, tough, tough. That's disgusting. It was crazy. And then the second thing is Jim Beam. Jim, oh, Beam. Jim Beam. Yeah, um, I can drink it, but I have to be very, very careful. Yeah. Like, there was the yeah. there was the drink that I got blacked out. Yeah, don't yeah. remember. Oh, yeah, actually, from that night, I remember one more thing. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the pizzeria that I remember the last, but it was... We have a main street in my hometown. Mm. One of the busiest, because it's the main one, obviously. <laughs> We we got we brought like bottles. We wanted to go to another bar, but they didn't let us go in. Yeah. And we were kind of like, okay, so we're just going to drink here. And we had like bottles with us, yeah, in the middle of the street. And we saw like we were drinking. They were like making noise and all yeah. of these like people are just looking at us like Saturday evening walkers. You know, <laughs> like this. And they are like, what the heck are these guys doing? Yeah, I, I saw like cops like passing by. They they saw us like. Just let them be. Like they're, not, like they're not doing anything. Yeah. Just, like they're just, just getting drunk. And then I got into the club. But yeah, Jim Beam would be would be for me. And then, yeah, I have to. I was actually there's a there's an ad, and I was talking to Dad about it. Uh, there's a new ad for Metaxa, yeah, twelve star. Mm-hmm. I don't know how much it costs, but mm-hmm. I have to I have to get at least a five star because, like, I didn't have Metaxa for like a long time, and I'm like, I was looking at the ad, I'm like. I would really like have a Metaxa, <laughs> and the guy's like, "Yeah, this is a Metaxa with twelve stars." I'm like, "What? What's, <laughs> How the, can what's you ma- the stars? It's quality uh, or expense uh, level? Expense by quality, but I'm not sure like what is. Um, but it's like years. I think it's like years. Yeah. Or how many times? I think like they. I don't know what Metaxa is. I think it's like wine grape or something. Yeah. Or some something like that. But I think like the more barrels of white white wine grapes you put into mm. the barrel of metaxa yeah you know so like the the more stars you get i don't know i have to i have to google it actually i don't right. have actually i don't have 3g so <laughs> i'll just leave it here, <clears throat> just leave it here. <laughs> well do you know what we can do can you get your hands on metaxa before we uh, shoot the christmas episode Oh yeah, maybe we should we could just okay like, do you know what we do can do like you know what we drink, can do drink i've got turkish raki in the fridge uh, so <laughs> then that's that's it. Uh, we can record our Christmas episodes while yeah, having have a festive, have festive national shots, and uh, nice. you know probably forget to hit record, <laughs> blackout, <laughs> Black wake up with <laughs> cowboy hats and and ten ten hours of recording of ju- us just lying here. <laughs> <laughs> what does that sound actually? Imagine. <laughs> That's a that's a good idea. Yeah, no, we can do it. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's another thing. We're gonna we're gonna be recording a Christmas episode soon, at some stage. So that's um. Yeah, I just food. need to finish with my exams. And all yeah, that we're gonna wait for him. When are they finished? Um, tenth. Well, tenth is the la- is the exam, and then I have an assignment due on the twelfth. Yeah. So we'll just just after that. I say whatever. after twelve, I'm, I'm I'm a free man, like cool. Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. So and how did you get how did you get drunk the first time? Do you remember? It? No. <laughs> That's a good question actually. Okay. Thanks listeners. <laughs> <laughs> that was today's that episode was up. <laughs> I actually don't remember. Do you remember the year or? No. Or you don't remember like when it happened? No, I don't remember when it happened. Like, or when was the first time that you blacked out? Or was it the Uzo? I think, yeah, that was, it must have been the Uzo. How old were you? I don't know, about 16 or so. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought it was like 24 or something. No, like, no, 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 no. Uh, that, was, it, 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 <laughs> that was like literally this morning. <laughs> <laughs> like, this morning. Yeah, I think that was the first time with a large amount. I mean, before that, we were, you know, in friends' houses and we'd go to the liquor cabinet and take out a bottle of Zugazade or whatever and then add yeah. a couple of alcohols or whatever and run into the field and drink a little bit and be like, ha, ha, ha. Um, so happy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, what else? Yeah. I was like, oh. <laughs> <What> field? <laughs> uh, that's it. But, 
I'd say the Uzo was the yeah. true large amount of alcohol. Yeah. That's disgusting. We were doing like yeah. we had this in, in, in high school and like again it was like in a, in the in the hometown you have like a theater and there is a small park and like groups groups huge groups of people are actually drinking there so you had like different like you could you could literally spot from which high school the people were because like in Slovakia you have you have specialized high school so you have mm. well, let's say business academy you have you know the gymnasium I, I think we yeah, spoke yeah, about yeah. it yeah. agriculture and so on and so on and then you could literally spot the people from the specific high school yeah on different at different places of the of the small pack just Ooh. drinking like they, there was a non-stop shop actually just across the road so you went so your night started when yeah. you were like 16 between <laughs> 15 and 18 what yeah. you did was you went out you went to the non-stop shop you met your friends everybody chipped in yeah. a bit of money everybody like you got one or two bottles and <laughs> like soft drink and then you were drinking outside yeah, yeah. like at a, like ne- next to a bench and then went to a club afterwards or yeah. went to a bar and then to a club so um there was there was actually like to, there was like you didn't even get like police or like there was there was literally like no um um aggressive behavior mm. you know everybody was everybody Everyone's was just chilling. chilling yeah yeah no problems at all yeah. no problems at all the problem problems happened actually when you when we started to go to clubs yeah. in the countryside really? you go to countryside and those guys from countryside they just like you go to a club you just go you just literally step into the to the, to the um to the bar or the club yeah and you get three or four shoulder you know like body checks or body yeah. checks from people just to looking for a fight <laughs> i was like come on man like i'm here to we used to have a good, good, good night, you know, like, like <laughs> dance with girls and all this stuff. And you, when you want to fight, come on. Man. Who are these city slickers? Right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, my dad used to beat, used to beat your dad up when he when he showed up in in the, in the big town. It's like not not the other way around. Come on, man. Ah, uh, just. It was easier back then. It was easier. Yeah, yeah I think like. During communism, they were chilling. They were chilling even more than yeah. they we did. They didn't give a, they didn't give a damn about like <laughs> going to gym or anything. Like they just went to their job. They, well, old old guys. They were they. You know, let's say you are. We had a teacher, the chemistry teacher, and uh, we were talking about him and like him being a stereotype for all of these guys. They were going yeah, to yeah. like you know communism. It's like having like really good jobs. And being from, like a, like let's say a village or yeah. even like a solid family, they showed up. They they went into they yeah. went to like a small kind of like bar in the morning. They went there. They had their coffee without rum because yeah. you couldn't sell it before twelve. So, like everybody got a coffee. That you put put rum in it. Just had a shot or yeah. whatever. And we, like when you met somebody mm. during communism, the the, the thing was. <clears throat> let's have a drink yeah and that could be yeah. during any, any time any time mm-hmm. you just met they just met let's just have a shot somewhere there was a yeah, yeah. there was like instead of handshakes you were just getting drunk <laughs> with instead of, <laughs> instead of doing handshakes yeah so you go there you have your coffee with with um with rum then you go to school let's say you know you just go through your eight hours eight hours of teaching somebody you know like during, yeah. the, during that time they also had a smoking room so yeah, but they, that had a bar also apparently. So like, <laughs> like I heard stories that these guys were doing gin and tonics like between between lectures and all this stuff. Yeah, but it was so normal then, and it's ingrained in the culture. And nobody as well. had problem with it. Yeah, nobody had problem with it. And yeah. like the, the kids, I think I'm not pro like violence mm. on kids or like getting like beating up kids or anything like mm. that. But at that time, you know, like when you, there wasn't, there was nothing that, you know, like, let's say the student had, <laughs> how, how to say that, <laughs> so to be politically correct, <laughs> um, you know, let's say you, you always have <clears throat> these, these brats that just want to make the teacher's life really, really uh, bad, you know, 
And at that point, nobody cared about the violence. So like the, the teacher came in, <laughs> smacked you. Yeah. And the the kid was quiet. Yeah. Up until you know, <laughs> until he was eighteen and went to the. Other. But no, like yeah, my yeah, my yeah, yeah. his friends, they were like they're like really really bad children. Yeah. But not children. I'm not talking about four, six years old. Mm. These were like twelve year, twelve years old, yeah, like yeah, thirteen, yeah. like teenagers. You know, like yeah. crazy with crazy ideas. But if you, if you, if they are just not listening to them, they got to like, smack. Uh, you know, like they they smack them. Yeah. You know, and they smacked real bad. <laughs> like, and like my uncle had apparently like scratches from like nails <laughs> from one, from one teacher. And you know what? They got smacks in school, and if they if they went home and told, they probably got another smack. Oh yeah, or getting yeah, smacked. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Then, then yeah. you probably deserved it. Yeah. And then go you know? there, and then they, they were told to go again the next morning to the teacher to find her and apologize <laughs> yeah, yeah. for something that they that they haven't even done. For example, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. it's just it's like it was much more much more respectful at that time. Mm, you know, yeah. I think that these like lately kids, like even I, I was raised to like let's say if I'm if I'm in a bus, there's no way there's no way that I would sit. Mm. That there is, that I see a couple of spaces left because I know that there will be an older person coming in, mm. and they will just sit. If I if I sit and I see somebody approaching me, then I just stand up. But no, let's say you are in you the don't bus get or that. you you are in train, you never get. You know, that. like they will let like there is, but nobody even tells those th- those mm. kids. That's yeah. the problem. You know, like I remember, or well, like my my parents told me that older people had so much respect because like they came over or some mm-hmm. like another person saw the kid not standing up they're like what why Get are you not up. saying why you don't yeah, why, yeah, you don't, yeah. why are you not letting her sit mm-hmm. or something like that it's just it, it, it's really really strange and i'll i think parents are so protective of their of their children that it's actually worse for the for the teacher and it's like much mm-hmm. more pressure on the teacher yeah so like the teacher cannot do anything you know there, there are videos and all of the all of this yeah. stuff. Like the then the it used to be the teacher and the and the and the parents schooling the kid. Mm-hmm. You know, like yeah. you can you cannot do something like this. Mm-hmm. But now it's the kid and the parents schooling the teacher, trying yeah, to tell yeah, them yeah. it's like don't just don't do stuff. Yes, of course, like there are there are cases where you just don't have mm-hmm. kind of like like the, you don't have the right to to do something to a to a child. Um, and that's so you know, like that. Mm. that I, I understand it, but if you know that the that the teacher is in the right, why don't you just you know just understand it as a parent? You know, it's like but you but even the basic respect doesn't seem to be there anymore. Like oh, yeah. you said, it's a perfect example on the bus, on the train, or whatever. Mm. People looking at their phones and not getting up. I mean, I can't. Im- like I get up anyway. It, I don't know why. It's it's, it's yeah. automatic. We were thought to be respectful. Um, I was. I mean, I was a cheeky kid, but never bad. If you know what I mean. Like I was. Mm. I was always talking and 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 dicking around in class and all that kind of stuff. Mm. But it, but there was no badness in what I was yeah, doing. If you know what I mean. Where yeah, some yeah. kids literally go in with the aim of making something bad, something bad, or yeah. making the teacher's yeah. life hell. You know, yeah. that's the difference. I mean, there's yeah. a, I mean, you're a teenager. Your head is full of shit anyway. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, there's, <laughs> it's it's normal to be to be a bit cheeky or whatever, but not bad. And this is what you have a lot these yeah. days, I think. You have real rotten apples. And just like you said, uh, if somebody tries to correct these children, yeah, <laughs> without the use of force, uh, then, the t- then the parent comes in and says, how dare you speak to my child like that? Because yeah. little Johnny or Mary went home crying. Because somebody actually said something to them, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So now it's you've like, got Molly, you have little shithead kids who are Molly coddled, hmm. you know, and that enforces their behavior. But I don't know where this basic respect has gone, you know? Yeah, and it's and similar, like similar to social media. You can't even say anything without, um, what's the word? Triggering. Like, yeah, like triggering or like, um, what's the freaking word now? Uh, insulting anybody, yes. You just cannot say anything. Yeah, yeah. Like I don't really give a damn. Like if, <clears> if <throat> like just if if you don't want to listen to me or if you don't want to see something, get off the phone, unfriend me. Yes, 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 You don't have to be here. Yeah, I'm here. Like I'm saying whatever the hell I want. You mm. know, but but like same with same with same with kids. It's like 
how come that the parents are, are like like so blind to it that mm-hmm. you know like they have been raised in the same in the same way as us yeah so like their parents and their teacher came over and said this mm-hmm. is what you shouldn't do yeah this is how you should behave if you want to go <laughs> like have a future yeah you know because like usually i'll tell you an example i had uh, a german teacher mm. very nice lady not the not the brightest one but you know really like she had yeah. kind of like her own way of living. Um, and I had two two guys which were just evil kids. Yeah. Just wanted to do bad stuff. You know? Both of them I now have been... It, like, one of them was actually in, in rehab. Both of them are junkies. Yeah. You know? And I'm like... And those were the ones that nobody could, like, teacher couldn't say anything to them. The, the parent never said anything mm. to them. One of them actually brought his brought his brother, who who just got out of prison, yeah. to give out to to the teacher who said something to him. Seriously, like that was like insulting. Like when that came, like he was insulting the old wo- old yeah. woman in a bad way. Like you wouldn't, like, you know, if I would be now in at this stage, like mm. if I would have, if I would be old as now. Mm-hmm. Just go to the gym. What, what the heck are you doing? Like, mm-hmm. why are you talking to her this way? It would have a problem anyway. But, you know, what I'm trying to say is that karma gets you mm-hmm. at some point anyway. Yeah. Because, like, if, if somebody is not going to tell you that you messed up, that you fucked up, then mm-hmm. the karma is going to hit you really, really bad because you yeah. will be insulting people. You will be doing all of this shit and not taking any responsibility. Mm-hmm. You know? Like, I... One one example, I was I was kind of like not listening to a like to to a teacher. It was a hi- it was history. Yeah, it's like making jokes. Da 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 da. Teacher gave out. Teacher teacher was like, David, be quiet because yeah. you will get some. You know, it will be a, there will be a problem. She wrote like we used to have like notes for parents yeah, yeah. into your parent book or whatever. Yeah. whatever. <laughs> but you had to bring it down, bring it in the next morning with a signature <laughs> you show it to your mom yeah yeah i remember my mom like like shouting at me from a bathroom yeah she was like why are you doing like you, you cannot talk to to her that way yeah. you'll be you'll be shutting down you'll be sitting there you will not move from your from yeah. your chair and tomorrow what you are going to do you are going to to her and you are going to apologize to, yeah. to that lady <laughs> got it the next morning Knocked on her door, on her room, because like they had, like, you know, like offices. Knocked mm. <laughs> on the office. Went in. I'm like, I'm really sorry. You know, da, 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 da. Yeah, and yeah. Just go through through the whole through the whole jazz, and you know, that teaches you how to be respectful to people. I guess mm. you know because like you know that you messed up and you're like you're not going to. And mm. if you want to get along with that woman, because you know that she is going to affect your grades at some point. Yeah, of course. Right. If you're yeah. a bread, if you're a uh, a, a fuck boy, uh-huh. they don't give a damn. You yeah. know, like you can do whatever you want. They're mm. not going to make make your grades better. But these kids, they just they just don't understand like how other people actually affect yeah. their, their their lives, and they think that I'm a I'm do I'm doing this and all of this shit. Like my dad will come in and he will give out to her and all of this. Yeah. <laughs> I would never do that as a parent. Never, yeah. ever, never. Ah, no, no. I'm going to assume that the fault lies with my child first. <laughs> I know that's, I'm yeah. sorry. That, I know that sounds terrible, but generally speaking, a teacher is not going to give out to you unless you're actually doing something. Of you know course. What I mean, of course, there's, there's, there's um, uh, exemptions to the rule. Yeah. But if the teacher writes me a note and says your daughter or son was loud in class, I'm going yeah. to assume that they were loud in they class. Were loud in class. Yeah. You no know? way that I would be like, fuck no. Oh, yeah, Jesus are you, Christ. Are you talking to my child like that? And I'm going to have to bring her to a psychiatrist, and then we're going to have to get over this together. <laughs> and you're like, oh, man. He's maybe. already on ADHD. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. But it's, it's, it's like, him, like, why? Yeah, take it's just it's stuff. getting to the next level, you know? Yeah, we we were giving him a clear water filtered, and then, you know, he got allergies. <laughs> now he can concentrate <laughs> yeah. and all of this shit. So, you know, exactly. We, exactly. we got this invention, like this this gadget from Czech Republic. That they were supposed to distribute only in India, but they started to distribute in the Czech Republic, and then you know we clear the water, we 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 make it dead water, and then oh, we have this little bread. So that's what happens, kids. All right, don't ever clean your water. Don't. <laughs> that's just remember: if you want to be healthy, 
Drink Uso. <laughs> Drink Uso. Swim and shit. Yeah. Don't vaccinate your kids. And don't eat genetically modified food. <laughs> and believe in Live. conspiracy theories. <laughs> and believe in conspiracy theories. And never theories. go out. Always say Just maybe. Just actually, as a matter of Always fact, don't maybe. go. Just say maybe. All right. <laughs> Well, guys, cool. it's been an absolute pleasure, as usual. Um, yep, yeah, get ready for our Christmas episode. And we'll have another one. We'll have another one before Christmas. Yeah. And then Christmas episode. All right. That's what we do. I maybe want to drink for that. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. We, maybe will, we, we might we, have we just a, don't we know. Might have a Christmas, a Christmas episode. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, I'll send, I you, I'll send, send you an email. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, yeah, but if you guys have any suggestions or any ideas yeah. or anything like that that you'd like to see covered in the Christmas episode, let us. Uh, man, I don't even know what what is a Christmas episode. What the fuck would we talk about for Christmas? What do you do for Christmas and stuff like this? I don't know. Sleep. <laughs> yeah, like. Well, do you do? You s- I have stories. Okay, I have stories. Cool. I have stories. We'll, don't worry. We we'll, we we'll have so we'll have some nice Christmas stories. Maybe we'll talk about some traditions. Maybe traditions from other traditions. countries. Yeah. And stories. I got stories. And we'll get drunk yeah. while recording. Ooh. See how that goes. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Tune in. Thanks, and yeah. Like and subscribe on all channels and all of that. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. You managed to listen to the Rum Boys Talk on Random Urban Memories. Just like and subscribe where you can on all platforms.